with just a dash of it, but it, it's real powerful. It, it I use it as a dipping it. sauce. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> is it like a concentrate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jim doesn't care. No. Hi ho wee wee, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Hi ho wee wee. Hi ho wee wee, guys. Talk about liquid smoke. Talk. Yeah. yeah, welcome to barbecue slash liquid smoke dipping sauce sour. Yeah. That's my nickname, liquid <laughs> smoke. Liquid smoke. Ooh. Fritters. That's your nickname. <laughs> What's up, JT? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, JT. You are too kind. Thanks. And yes, uh, Jack Nicholson prompt. The golfer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we have a new variation of the intro song, so. I've got a nice. brand new trio of stories ready for AIPD. I think that we should spend some <laughs> bean bones and love the Germany. Ah, <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> nice and okay. short. Get I get now, together. I'm pepped up. Before, that, before you said it was Radar. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Before I didn't realize that it was Radar Love, but I think this is a cover, right, Corey? Of the, yeah. that that nah, 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 that sounds very familiar. Yeah, this is brand new key. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which looking up brand new key, I had to find out like the BPM for it, and I found out that she wrote that in 15 minutes. Wow. Who is it? Janice Joplin? Uh God. Was it mellow? It's like I've got to write a new hit in 15 minutes before it, it, I yeah, get just a hairdressing appointment. Oh, her name is just Cocaine's Melanie. It's a hell of a drug. Yeah. M e l a n i e. I e. I e. Well, let's get right into the story of one, I guess, too. I e. I e. I e. Country's a hell of a drug. Yeah. Get ready for store one. The next cover I'll do will be a Johnny Cash cover. Oh, oh fuck okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm nice. Johnny Cash. I will make you hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll make you hurt. You are gonna get Jim killed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this first cool. prompt is by Sure Why Not. Cool. Sure, sure. You are famous Hollywood actor Jack Nicholson. You have just purchased a joy buzzer with the intention of getting your revenge on everyone that has ever wronged you. A joy buzzer? Is that is that regular? Oh, the yeah, that's sh like... shake my hand and get oh, shocked. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it is yeah, like a yeah, joker yeah. prompt. Okay, okay. It's yeah. like a gum. Okay. The following 10 celebrities are at the top of your revenge list. Oh, I can't wait to do this. <laughs> I streamed mm. myself today. Oh yeah, Kate Hudson. I streamed myself today <laughs> <laughs> to see if I My still joke. To okay. Tom Cruise. Okay, it seems to I have yeah. a Scientology. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. For being gay and not giving you enough money <laughs> for your car. Or so. Ben Affleck, because he... So it seems like... Jack's using gay as in like the high school way, or it's yeah, just like it's just not cool. I, I, high school I, I, way. It, it, like you are so gay. Like it's just like yeah, the, I have a, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You get it as a it, like the, as a non orientative pejorative. Yes, whatever that meant. Yes, yeah. as a dig and not as in an uh, a homophobic way. Mm -hmm. uh, ben Affleck. Yeah, just just the cool way, guys. Just the cool Hopefully way. <laughs> oh well. Is an asshole. Ben Affleck is an asshole. Five, okay. Leonardo DiCaprio for being a fat pig. Whoa! Six, wow. Matt Damon Thank for being a loser who doesn't give a shit about anyone but himself. Wow. The AI oh. has got some beef with some celebs. Yeah. I have heard that. I Affleck like is an that asshole. it's giving reasons. <laughs> yeah. That's a new one. Yeah. Oh, shit. And George Clooney. For being a boring celebrity and taking up too much space in your house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman for being a smug prick. Whoa. Nine. God damn. David Hollywood's Carradine tough. Because he was so good at He's choking dead. himself to death yeah, with his yeah, penis. Too late. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the Emily doesn't forgive that. Damn weird. Oh. Ten, well, Uma that's Thurman. a good. For breaking your heart when you were 19. Ah. Uh, we're like 20 years apart. By poisoning the coffee of Tom Cruise and John Travolta. Whoa, oh, whoa, the whoa. Scientologists are getting it. Uh. First up, <laughs> they don't get the buzzer, they get the, the death sentence. Yeah. Wow. Okay, then. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah you 
Yeah. Gonna poison it with a real cream for those vegans. Yeah. <laughs> you, here, you dose Tom and John's coffee Strychnine. with laughing. I was gonna say laughing uh, gas. There you go. Laughing no. yeah. juice. Laughing liquid. Laughing juice. Liquid, liquid laughing. Liquid. Liquid, liquid laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Distilled essence. Mm-hmm. Essence of chuckles. Clum. <laughs> oh. Clum essence. Uh, I know you're gonna say that. Yeah, of course. Start puffing, then you boy. sneak into the Golden Globes and oh. give Julia Roberts a box of chocolates and a note that says thanks for the present. Here's another one. Hey, thanks, oh. Bulk Bogan official. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> and hey, we're doing one of your props, so thank you for submitting props. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful to meet the legendary bulkness. Yeah. yeah. I, I've heard I of wonder, your bulk ways. I wonder if you're an Australian because your last name is Bogan. <laughs> That's like an Australian redneck. Oh, shit. Jeremy running your surprise. He is on your oh, revenge no. list. Yeah, Jeremy, that's a good point. Jeremy, at this point, do you think the whole world revolves around you? Yeah. We probably get along with a guy. I mean, we seem like we're again. An it's just Hawkeye. I'm sure Jeremy Renner is a nice guy. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm destined to meet him now because I brought up this thing of not liking Hawkeye. So, <laughs> in actuality, Uma <laughs> Thurman wasn't born yet when uh, uh, Nicholson was 19. So <laughs> it's yeah. all a misunderstanding. They're around the same age. Yeah, yeah, around. That seems same. like it's right about his wheelhouse then for women he did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey. <-o. laughs> Your revenge <laughs> plot and uh, and hit uh, list uh, appear on TMZ. You oh. receive oh. a call. WikiLeaks. Yeah, from Jeremy Renner, who is surprised he isn't on your revenge list. WikiLeaks sounds like a brand of adult <laughs> diapers. Wants... Wait, what? I said WikiLeaks sounds like a brand of adult diapers. I just wanted to share that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just occurred to me. I'm free for free ball on it, guys, in my mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> Not in reality. You tell Long Rennie repressed. you just forgot he was in a movie with Tom and John. He tell explains Rennie. that Rennie. the media Rennie. has already blamed <laughs> him for the deaths of both Travolta and Cruz. Okay. Oh. Wow. Thanks for calling just us then. Yeah, wipe my hands clean of all that bullshit. You, <laughs> you tell Rennie that you will clear his name. Sucks for him. If he stops making dance music. Just wanted to pop in the chat and say hi. Sorry, I can't really watch you guys live. Not my time's out. That's okay, Bulk Bogan. Thank you so much. We love yeah, your yeah. support. You write yeah, some yeah. funny prompts, and we will continue to use them. Thank you. You great yes. name, too. Like Bulk Bogan is the name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are in a, you are with us in spirit. Mm -hmm. The spirit. He of is Australian. Confirmed. Yep. Knew it. You will you stop making dance music already? <laughs> I think it's bad for your career. You should focus more on acting. Ray, no way, man. This is what I'm good at. Man, they keep shortening his name. Ray, Randy. <laughs> He's just gonna be R. Ray. The R man. <laughs> You tell the R man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're really distracting us from continuing our re revenge plot. So can you? Uh... You missed your prompt, sure. While you were halfway through your prompt. Oh yeah, what's up, sure. Uh, let's see. Hey Siri, what time is it right now in Australia? Uh, maybe yeah, not. It might be yeah. UK, another UK person. Yeah, UK. Or European. Wait, yeah. what did it say? We don't want to die. That's, not bad. That's not bad at all. Huh? No, if it's 12 p.m. in Australia right now. Yeah. 12 p.m.? That makes no sense. Oh, yeah, it's afternoon. Okay, I guess uh -huh. that makes sense. <laughs> Actually, acting might not be your thing either. Maybe be a... House re rehabber? Uh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Leave it up to the eye. Uh, what's uh, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. right? Oh, dancer. Ray. LOL. Nah. Can't dance to <laughs> save my life. Oh, man. Also, I feel like that's such a dig to say to any like actor or uh, celebrity 
Because that's immediately like, <laughs> maybe you should be a dancer. Like on Dancing with the Stars. Like, oh, fuck you. Oh, that's when they know your career is over. Yeah. Dance with the Stars. Yep. I'm going to say, you bet Jeremy Renner that you can teach him to dance in time for award season. Ah. This is like, she's all that. Okay. Mm-hmm. But the actor version. Yeah. You're going to have to follow me it's around because I have to kill all these people to sell. You train the talented, but clueless Renny for three whole months. <laughs> you make him dance to so clueless. many songs that he asks you to turn down the music because his head is killing him. That's what's more, killing More, more. Come on, Renner. Ow, ah, ow, ow, my ears. <laughs> There is a supremely embarrassing piece of footage of me recreating a scene from She's All That for TV Productions. Oh, nice. yeah? Gotta, oh, we yeah. Yeah. We're happy and we need to find that show. I got to be Freddie Prince Jr. And I was like, oh, I, it's bad. Is it uh, on we, YouTube? Oh, no. I, I think I it's still on the tape. only copy. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, it was on a VHS. Like, we had to rent a big <laughs> uh, uh, camera from TV Productions. To Corey, YouTube. we need that video. Yeah. I... In my TV yeah. productions, I had to recreate something from Mean Girls. Uh, that, <laughs> what is this? It was yeah, me and a bunch, of, a bunch of girls. I, I don't know, but that was our like project for the class. Is you had to recreate. You guys went to the same high school, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but we were in, in just yeah, different times. Do you have the same teacher? Is the teacher into yeah. this kind of this genre? Wooly. Yeah. He, 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 he was like the TV film. production staff, yeah. <laughs> It and was recorded on Super 8 for like 63 he was, years old. It sounded like he's a failed writer of teen movies. Uh, he was yeah. a sports guy. I, I didn't know for the longest yeah. time that we had like a, a, a news desk and like a TV production. Like the TV production room is just like, oh, it looks like a whatever room. But then like behind these curtains is like this studio. I was like, why aren't we fucking doing stuff in there? Like I didn't even know until after I graduated that it exists. Someone like took a picture oh, back look there behind the curtain. I, I was like yeah. so pissed off that no one had even like couldn't he have showed that. Ah. Yeah, there's box of props back there and like a green screen. Oh, I was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't show us any of that. He's like, "Fuck you, recording your basement." No, because yeah, we filmed in the <laughs> lunch room. I would have like loved to use that for yeah, something. Like, so I, I felt so cheated. Sounds you like kids will get it dirty. Uh, yeah. Like That's probably only for kids his and TV favorites production. he would use True. to like shoot like the real like local TV because you know every high school has like a news show you know yeah yeah but we and didn't he, and those were his favorites maybe we did oh you did it maybe we had one years ago but when we were there mm. nothing yeah anyway let's <laughs> let's on, yeah on your dancing uh during your dancing during your dance. Training of uh, the R man. I'll just, <laughs> uh, uh, Jeremy. Hey, what's up, R? <laughs> How are you, R? Mm -hmm. You quickly dispatch R. most R. of the celebrities on your hit list. My brother's middle name is R. Just R? Just R? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't mean anything? No. <laughs> really? That's true. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting that's tripped up true. here. That is uh, not true. <laughs> it's true. The only I one left is it... some guy called yeah. Ben Affleck who hasn't done anything to you and lives in a different state. Oh. You really don't even know why you bothered to train him. Oh, yeah. What? This just seemed like, yeah, revenge with more steps. Wow. You and Jeremy Renner. David Carradine was a real easy one to cross off the list. Plan <laughs> your revenge. Oh boy, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Plan your revenge. He was already dead. What do you mean? Against. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. George Clooney is easily the worst best Batman me show. Yeah. I heard Even uh, George Clooney admits that. I heard uh oh what's his face is coming back to do. It's just so boring. 
Uh, ben right. Affleck? You no. are all set to take revenge on Ben Affleck. Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton, In the Michael back Keaton of your mind, yes. You hope that Mariah will have become a reality. Really? So how are we going to train this weekend? I heard he's going to be like, I don't know, like a... It's supposed to be like a nod for the new Batman with a... Oh, like a cameo? Yeah. With, and the new Joker movies, right? Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe he is coming back as Batman. I don't know. Mm. With so many different studios doing so many different... Uh, they all have their specific rights to stuff. I thought I always thought he was an underrated Batman. Michael Keaton, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, he rocked the "I can't turn my head" bat suit. Like, yeah. I hope that it, if he gets a cameo, he does that. He's like, "Hello," he just turns his entire all of his shoulders to look at. I think he got knocked because he had curly hair. I really do. Yeah, I believe it. Michael <laughs> Keaton's coming back for the Flash. I heard they were redoing Beetlejuice. But I hope yeah, that I, I hope that gets canceled. Too. But because that just is a, an impossible thing to recreate. Don't even fucking mm -hmm. try. Please don't. Yeah. Oh, they <laughs> will. This is Mariah. Who is Mariah in this? Yeah. Yeah, sponsor? that's a great question. Uh, in the back of your mind, you hope Mariah will have will have. Hold on. In the back of your mind, I'm dyslexic and I can't read this. <laughs> you hope that Mariah <laughs> will have become a reality. Okay, that's on the AI, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You did, Jason did hashtag Jason did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sp spread that to Twitter. Let's yeah. get that rolling. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Mariah Carey too. That's exactly who I thought. Yeah, I think that's. Did they date? I think that's Jeremy Renner's dancing partner on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Oh. How are we gonna train this weekend? Uh, you show him your new dance number. Yeah. Okay. salsa it's called the salsa. next slice what how how does that go well let me show you yeah it's called we're gonna run around more hands misha ben least favorite ever? oh shit. well that's some dance number oh we're gonna make mm. him kill him yeah. for us Watch and learn, Ben. And you teach your new celebrity renner the dance routine to Ben's downfall. That it's it, even it's setting this up. That's amazing. Wow. Is he going to kill Ben Affleck through dance? You stand so. next Cord. to Mariah this Carey. Life. As uh, Ben Affleck. Uh, kills. Uh, wait, as Jeremy Renner kills Ben Affleck live on TV. Wow. The rumba. The judge is 10, 10, 10. Mm -hmm. You can tell amazing. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars. I like the one guy with the, he's Spanish or something. He has the lift. That was amazing. It's very good dancing. Oh, JT, you hate Star Wars? Oh my God. Oh boy. Hey. Wow. The whole it's world watches in shock and horror activity. as Ben dies yeah. a slow and painful death. <gasps> Renner is treated like a hero for taking out one of the biggest movie stars in the world. <laughs> no, that's not what we wanted to happen. <laughs> no! Here, you are annoyed by Jeremy's sudden fame. That's how he got the Avengers. Damn it. And add him amazing. to the list. It would be like Highlander with celebrities. Yeah. The bigger celebrity, the more power you can Yeah, yeah. Them. He's currently serving house arrest while he works on the new Avengers film. Surprisingly, <laughs> not that big of a deal. It's mostly green screen so, anyway. Yeah. But you don't uh, get annoyed gonna... with Mariah. In fact, you start having these feelings that you oh. have wanted to explore. You want to take things further with her. I have a feeling mm. Mariah's like, I'm too hot for this shit. I'm, yeah, well, we I'm more try. famous than you, and also. You confess nope. your true love. Yeah, there we go. For Jack Maybe Nicholas. For she has Mariah. to like us. Yeah. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it, all I want for Christmas is you. Mariah is still no, when you we approach next her step. about this. It's stone. Mariah, I have something to tell you. <gasps> oh, yeah. Mariah, oh, what? 
you. Wow. I love you. Oh, wow. Oof, wow. Yeah. You guys know she can't sing anymore. That's no? terrible. Yeah. What? You ever seen those videos where it's Shut like up. what her mic really you sounds like? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have seen that. You. No, I'm serious. Mariah, you do it. You. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You do what? Oh, we got Nexus one more time. Do it. Yeah. You do what? Uh, uh, you do what? Uh, you do what? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've been oh, all right. For years, Mariah. Well, <gasps> I've been holding it in for decades. You what? What? Mariah, <laughs> I love you too. What if she just let out a huge? Oh fire? my god! <laughs> yep, Mariah. Just then, Mariah lets out a huge. <laughs> 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 I've been holding that in for decades. Mm -hmm. Well, there are only 33 years uh, age gap between them. So, mm. by the way, look at the civil conversation about Star Wars going on in the chat. I oh, good, yeah. good job, Misha and JT. Yeah, yeah. I, I can definitely <laughs> see that happening, where it's like I want to take Star Wars seriously, but it doesn't take itself that seriously. Mm -hmm. But it, it, yeah, it, it lacks camp, serious camp. But I don't want camp. I want a, tr a serious treatment of the th of the themes of mythology. I, I think I have some rose tinted glasses for Beetlejuice. I like Beetlejuice. I think most people do. I, I watched funny. it recently I too. Say, oh, sure. I haven't heard anybody say like it's like the worst thing I've ever seen. I like the special effects in it a lot. Like I love I the claymation has, bits. I think it has more to do with Tim Burton than the actual story. Mm -hmm. uh, just that Mariah yeah. lets out a huge fart. She says, "Also, I've been holding that in for decades." <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's a good thing you told me then, Mariah. I guess you and Mariah continue dating. We didn't get the joke. Yeah. We're gonna need a new studio yeah. audience. Hey, everybody, what's more of the story? Hey, that's gonna tell us. That worked out pretty well for Jack Nicholson. Yeah. It always what does. What a charm life this guy lives. Don't train celebrities to dance when they are stoned. Ah, mm. Unless you want them to kill Ben <laughs> Affleck live on television. Affleck. <laughs> you might find yourself reading story two and ask yourself, how did I get here? How did I get here? And Bulk Bogan, this is for you. Although I assume you've gone to bed, but hopefully you wake up and watch this. We're your Bulkamaniacs. Blessed be your bulkness. You are Vincenzo, a member of the ancient order of pizza mancers, a secret cult of wizards who practice pizza magic. You've studied all four schools of pizza mancy, so it's time for your final test. Before you can become an acolyte of the Pizza Mancy Order. Mm. Man, keep these up and you'll be on every episode. <laughs> You're speaking to my heart, Bulk Bogan. <laughs> Your mission, to travel through the land, gathering as many souls as possible in the name of pizza. Hell yeah! <laughs> the first thing you notice is that this place looks like a regular pizzeria. What oh. price is your meat lovers? And what week comes on that? Oh, okay. That's Should correct. Put some yeah. souls on it. Can you put some souls on it? <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for your souls. <laughs> what? Souls. Yeah. Sorry, there we don't a... have any fish at this restaurant. No souls. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no I'll feed on the give, pizza. No souls. You give the secret hand sign to. Or I'll say hand signal <laughs> to the pepperoni <laughs> or to the worker oh, behind yeah. the counter. The Can slice. I have a slice? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, me and Corey <laughs> would be, uh, be sick to, I'd like a slice. It's like a secret society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, you say, waving your hands. I'm here to get some souls. The worker turns <laughs> around and smiles at you. He waves his arms back and forth several times. I know you got a hell of a baby. Yeah. 
Is there uh, a dark order of pizza mancers who would you? cover the bright face of pizza with more dough? The Calzoners? Uh, the Calzoners. You hang Let around. Let me speak to the Calzoner. Yeah, the Calzoner. <laughs> Who's the Calzoner of this place? Yeah. <laughs> you wait around for a few hours until the restaurant closes. And the worker signals you to come uh, in the back. Oh. Where, mm. as you walk to the back office, you see a secret entrance that <gasps> leads. To a grand underground castle. Mm. Pizza Hut. Sitting on the throne <laughs> is King Jareth, the Goblin King, and his enchanted breadstick. You remind me of the bread. What bread? The bread with the butter and the oh. garlic and the garlic, too. <laughs> Who's garlic? Your garlic. You bow in respect. <laughs> Vincenzo, my boy. I was beginning to get bored. Would you like something to eat? Ah, he's mm -hmm. been expecting us. Interesting. Yes, I would love your bold pepperoni. <gasps> Everyone's gasping. No one's, no one's allowed to eat the bold pepperoni. Uh, <laughs> what? I've come for your soul. Uh, oh, uh, also the souls. Yes, I would like souls, uh, please. Oh, we have a big old bucket of souls in the back. We can go get that. But the bold pepperoni, <laughs> that's, that's unheard of. You want anchovy uh, souls? I'll say uh, <laughs> King Jareth rises and his flowing cheese cloak drips on the floor as he walks up to you. Awesome. Mm. Ooh. And lets you nibble from his enchanted breadstick. Oh. Don't Over. bite it, just nibble. Yep. Taps you on the forehead if you take a bite out of it. No! <laughs> <laughs> no souls for you. <laughs> and then he asks. How may I serve the pizza mancers? I like to think they're all like uh, teenage dorks with like very greasy acne ridden faces. Yes. Oh, yeah. You think carefully before replying. Finally, you decide to be up front. Well, sir. Finally. I've come here to become a member of your order and serve the kingdom to its fullest capabilities. All right, that sounds like a bullshit answer. Yeah. I may ask you to sauce people in my name. Are you prepared uh -huh. to do that? You look over and see Jason, a guy who's just as Lindsay Lohan's boyfriend from Mean Girls. He's putting butter on pizza, and this enrages you. You storm over to him. And, uh, eat his soul. Oh. Which gives you heartburn. Mm -hmm. Because I've heard that too. That, like, in the editing room, she works the magic. Oh, interesting. Oh. We could challenge him. <laughs> oh, we ate his soul. You <laughs> fall to the floor in pain. Why did you do that? Asks the Goblin King. He was just buttering his pizza. <laughs> Mm. Now I feel bad about it. I did it yeah. to myself. It was for the butter cheese. Yeah. As you chop him down. You add the butter you... before you send it in the oven, not after. You vomit up Jason's soul out mm. of guilt. Yeah, there we go. It's... It slides up easy, coated in butter. Also, it seems like George Lucas, it seems like he was, despite... It seems like the movies he worked on were so successful... 
uh, because they changed everything he wanted to do. So in a, in a way, it seems like he wasn't the reason they were successful. Yeah, it's just like the he attracted, he magnetized a group of creative people around him that mm-hmm, made the mm-hmm. perfect movie every time. Yes, except when he works on stuff solo. Yeah, yep, exactly. You vomit the soul onto the floor, and the Goblin King picks it up and eats it. Bro, mm, <laughs> he wanted gross. it. He's like, I yeah, only, I the eat the soul. Psychology. Yes. <laughs> the Goblin King yells, dibs. <laughs> dibs. Three second rule. Yep. <laughs> three second rule. Well, I didn't need it, but you ate it. But since you vomited up on the floor, that means I have three seconds to eat it, and there's no, no germs, no, no quarrels. So. Yeah, nobody can argue with the music of Star Wars. That's good music. That too. Yeah, it feels like good movies are just like. It's just so impossible for them to get made. Like it's just yeah. Like, I mean, like, uh, to be have everyone be talented, inspiring all assemblages. Yeah, you should have heard the music that George Lucas wrote for it. <laughs> Wait, well, did he? The jizz, oh, the jizz. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> is it out there? No, that's a joke. <laughs> he didn't really write. Oh, it, okay, Jason, okay, okay, okay. Jim got you. Ah, damn the it, solo Jim. music. Was At least awful. it wasn't me. Yeah. So. I just had to deliver the bad news. Star Wars, I'm in the Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> My name is George Lucas. Damn it, George. We can't put this in there. It's not good. Wasted everybody's time. Them. They like to don at Ohula Hands, my favorite bar. Poor Jason, he just oh. wanted butter on his pizza. I know. It seems like so in- innocent. Uh, How about the Goblin King tasks you yeah, with I, I'm uprooting sure. garlic group. butter? Okay, just straight butter? Nah, okay. Mm-hmm. A group of cows owners. What are you? Oh, weirdo. <laughs> A group of cows owners. Their corruption <laughs> is spreading. We're coming from a calzone. People are losing Calzone-y. faith in the pizza. <laughs> They must be stopped. I never watched a lot of Mystery Science Theater 3000. I watched a couple episodes, but no. not when they were in Comedy Central. They have a 24-7 channel on Twitch. Wow. Really? I've seen most of the episodes. Take me to yeah. Cali Zone. What's up, JR? Yeah, what's up, JR? Uh, I was watching JR <laughs> earlier. Yeah, that, oh, really? Uh, he has an interesting hey, stream Jr. that he's working on. Hmm. Like the he 90s stream, bestows... I dig very much. How about he then bestows upon you a most holy weapon? A pizza wedge. Hmm. <gasps> I do it. So I use this to eat the pizza or to cook the pizza? A Vorpal pizza wedge. Hmm. Yeah. Is that the thing you used to put in the oven? Uh, it's the. So you either cut them with the roller or you wheel, cut them with the, with the, uh, you ever seen it's a large piece of metal and you like rock it? Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, one of those. It's like a two-handled uh, like, machete. Yeah. That's... It looks like one of those Klingon Baleths thing. Oh, that's fucking oh, badass. Oh yeah. It's a wedge. You head to a sports bar in search of your target. You hide behind the counter and wait for people to order food. I also have a slicer like that, but it's uh, short-handed. Because I don't have a gigantic pizza oven, mm-hmm. but it looks you badass. Need to get one. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if someone broke into my house and I had that, I would feel safe. I would go, hey, yeah, it's it like six inches. Uh, I mean, it, the the Do thing is full size for pizza. Pillow? Yeah, I, I sleep, uh, I'm, I'm just ready for pizza or burgers yeah. at any time. Honey, why is the bread so greasy? Mm-hmm. You know, oh my baby. god, he's armed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Misha, I do. I love the Guardian soundtrack. I have just... There's a playlist I have that is just both of the movies. Mm-mm. I like on YouTube when you play it, it's like a cassette playing. You, you like see, they're the image of the cassette playing. You see your targets arrive. Target. Okay, who would be the target of a Pizza Mancer? I feel like we could think of this. Brainstorm. Annoyed? Annoyed, that's possible. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. good, actually. You're t- you see your targets arrive. The Annoyed. The Little Caesar guy. Yep. The Annoyed. Papa John. The Dion. <laughs> <laughs> the California Pizza Kitchen 
palm tree or whatever the hell their mascot is. Oh, uh, and the, uh, uh, the showbiz pizza bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and don't forget Chuck E. Cheese. And Chuck E. Cheese. Mm-hmm. Show oh, yeah. this pizza where a kid can be a kid. Yeah. The bear with overalls. <laughs> the latest novel by. What's that guy's <laughs> name? Yeah, fuck. John LeCar. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. James Patterson. Yeah, that's another good one. <laughs> James Balducci. That's who I was thinking of. You charge the bar and plunge your pizza blade into the Noid's chest. Fuck yeah. Oh. The other four survival of the fattest pizzas charge you. Papa <laughs> John swings his fist and you toss your slice at him. Blinded! S- secret slice! I'll say you burn Papa John's face. Ah, my face! Ah. You're, the day of reckoning uh, will come. With hot pizza. Spicy is the pepperoni that blinds you. Mm. <laughs> Bows in my house. The oils and the sauces uh, and the spices. Papa John screams as he begins to set a light. Oh shit! He That's runs around flammable. the barbecue, groping at the flames. Ah, ah, oh, he manages ah, ah, to take two steps before he collapses oh. and burns to death. <laughs> wow! Holy shit! All right, who's left? Wow. We got Chuck E. Cheese and Chobis Pizza Pair. Uh, Ducky, last thing he did was groping. Ducky Cheese and Showbiz Pizza Bear. The two mascots are gonna uh, tag team you. Uh, <laughs> tag team you. Eiffel Tower and yeah. Devil's Triangle. <laughs> tag team you and <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. What's it? Like a pincer attack? What's it? Uh, flank you? Take the birthday boy. Oh, yeah, that's from uh, Rich Evans of. Uh... Yeah. So they, they showed. They uh, had that for like an episode of uh, Best of the Worst. And then that mm-hmm. be- uh, they showed that on Ellen. And he was like, oh, great. Uh, I became famous enough for Julia uh, Roberts to be terrified of me. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese and Shelby's Pizza tag team you and manage to. Well, I just said it. I managed to. Flank? Flank you, yeah. Mm. Pincer. Pincer. Pincer's yeah. movement. A temporal pincer's movement. The bull's horns. They begin kicking and punching you until the tables are turned, uh-huh. and they are both beaten to death with the shredded cheese they like to eat. Oh, wow. The last target, the obese pizza monster speeds towards you at incredible speeds. Well, not that incredible. <laughs> he rolls at us. <laughs> Slowly. Um, you, I'm going to say you trip the pizza monster. Okay. We have and a, a razor sharp pizza table. Yeah. He flies. He falls head first into the brick uh, into a brick oven. Oh, actually, or <gasps> or she could fall into the the redemption here. Oh, go okay. into what is it? Uh, razor sharp oh, pizza table. Uh, uh, a razor sharp. Uh, razor sharp pizza table. If Ellen asked me to be on their show, would you? No, because I heard while people equal or more famous than her, she treats wonderfully. I heard mm-hmm. the, the people that are lower than her, she treats like absolute garbage. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to be made fun of and then look like an ass on her show that she can edit to look yeah. at however she wants. The pizza monster attempts to stop himself, but falls head first into dough and tomato sauce. Aha! He dies instantly of a combination of multiple cuts and raw meat. <laughs> His greasy black body sinks into the pizza. Whoa! I think I know wow. what to do. Go Take for it. Salt. You cook him and bring the pizza back to the underground kingdom. Of course.
and say, Pizza time! Pizza, pizza time! <laughs> pizza time! <laughs> pizza time! Frozen in crust tonight. Oh, come on. No, it doesn't recognize it? Oh, wait. My God. Uh. The king eats a slice and smiles. You nervously eat a little, but the pizza king stares at you and forces you to finish the whole pizza. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Now you're one of us, he says. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. We're no, a full but... member of the order with all rights where <laughs> they're in. Fuck yeah. I like to think that. Uh, I think that sequel bait, or a little bit, because I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the greasy oh, yeah. black body is gonna somehow control us and take over our brain. Uh, let's get the moral though. The moral. The moral. Pizza Man through the reckoning. Yeah, that's a fucking. Du that's a tasty end of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Second helping. Don't be a lazy pizza. fat ass. Go out and do stuff. Be a survival fair. of the fattest. Damn it. Be a survival of the survival fastest. Of the fattest. Damn it. I'm taking that one. <laughs> that's a quite a quote. That's a taste. That's a tasty quote. <laughs> I don't yesterday, know. Tony. You all right, Jason? Yeah, I don't know. Who, all right. who are this fucker? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> I wanted to clip it, but I couldn't find the exact uh, place where we said that. But mm -hmm. it sounded good in Russian, though, or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, who are I, this fucker. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was so perfect. Who are this fucker? All right, last story <laughs> of the night. It's the last story of the night. It's story. The night story three. Uh, this last story is by Infinite. You are Grug, a caveman who lives alone in a small cave. Your hobbies include rubbing stick to make fire and hitting rock with bigger rock to make sharp rock. Hmm. One day, <laughs> while babbling incoherently and banging rocks together with some strain... Wait, oh wait, uh... One day, while babbling incoherently and banging rocks together... Something strange wanders into your cave. A small gray man with a large head and big black eyes. Mm. He says... Yeah. Uncle Jerry? <laughs> Hello and touches you on the chest. Hey, personal space. You don't space. know what is going on, but he doesn't seem hostile, so you tell him your name. He replies, Grug. Oh, we got next this. Oh, that's my name. Oh, your name's Grug, too? Wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. I'm going to say your chest starts to glow where uh, the gray man touched you. Oh. <laughs> Grug, where did the man touch you? Mm, show us on the doll. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> you fall to the ground and are unable to move after oh. a few minutes you come to the gray man tells you that now he can read your mind the gray man says sup can a lock come up in your crib mm. can a loak can a loak oh sorry mm -hmm. like tone loke no 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 oh nope. damn it mm. so what's that you can't believe this is happening he says, you should come with me and learn how to use your powers. Oh, with, fuck! He gave us special with powers! Us. Come with me. <laughs> come with me. Oh, come with. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Uh, you learn that the gray man has given you the following powers. Mm -hmm. yes. Didn't even have to level up to get them. Of course I'll join you. Just let me grab my things. Mm -hmm, One mm -hmm. rock. Stick. Bigger rock. Rock. Stick. Yeah. <laughs> Sharp rock. Ow! Touch oh. of mind control. Influence people's decisions and thoughts with a touch. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he gave us the powers. I guess he already told us that kind of thing. So yeah. We just, we don't listen. We, we don't understand, really. Grog, read your mind? You can. Okay. 
I'm gonna say you touch the gray man's chest, yeah, and control his mind a little. Oh, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. we can influence him. We can't control. We don't have mind control. Can we read his mind? Oh wait, touch of mind control. Never mind. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got touch of mind control. We can read his mind and touch of mind control. Okay, the gray man's chest to read his mind. Yes. Yeah. That's just forcing someone to do something. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a way. Yes. Don't mind control someone who's meeting your mind. Oh yeah, we just fuse. That's uh -huh. the one. That's like a unwritten oh. rule. Oh. You feel a deep sadness. Oh. The man has been kidnapped oh, no. by a madman who is forcing him to make complex clocks. Oh. You also feel confusion and anxiety. Oh my god, it's child labor. I what? finished another clock. Uh, yeah. Is it complex enough? It isn't! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I need Swiss movement, damn it. I want the little birdie to go in and out at the top of every hour, not just the one, the top of the uh, one hour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> more gears, more birds, more He's gears. He's so upset. I know. Man, He's so you, upset. Yeah. You decide to return <laughs> the man to his family. Uh-huh. I'm so angry, I can't even speak. Yeah. yeah. I don't even really know what I wanted, but I'm too angry to <laughs> correct myself. I'm gonna hit you anyway. You suddenly Shut disappear up. from the cave, and the man screams in surprise. He runs after you, but realizes he is faster, so he stops to wave at you. Uh. Then he turns around and runs back inside. You decide to return the man to his family. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, great yeah. man. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to go back. Maybe he's been like institutionalized. You ask the gray man why he doesn't. You ask the gray man why don't you want to go home and leave Krug to read Hot Cave Lady's Mind. Are there really any hot cave ladies? To him. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Can't even tell their he ladies. He replies, dig past I'm not allowed pubes. to leave. <laughs> you suggest, maybe if you oh. tell me what the madman looks like, I can try find him for you. There we go. We're big, oh. strong. We fucking smash rocks together for fun all day long. We can kick this guy's fucking ass. Yeah, we're great. I like how it said that, like a caveman, I can yeah. try find him for you. Yeah, yeah. You look for man. Yeah. You look hard. He <laughs> <laughs> raped them by the size of their foreheads. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> We're not yeah. wearing pants. Yeah. Uh, we already do that. <laughs> We're wearing like a Fred Flintstone uh, stone outfit. Yeah. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Fred Flintstone. That's yeah. our name. Fred <laughs> Flintstone. <laughs> yep. Is he Belgium? Yeah. Maybe he is in another is he cave. Belgium? You think to yourself, <laughs> Belgium. Sorry, you Belgium. You turn to the great man and tell him I'm what you have done. Make fun of me. He thanks you and says, "We must go now. My friends are coming." Oh. <laughs> no, nowhere, man. Is <laughs> maybe he is in another cave. You think to yourself, "Yeah, we ki we killed him." Because we cannot find him. He be, he may be dead. We I'm going to say Gray Man gives you... Yeah. Gray Man gives you... Gray Man... This Gray Man sounds like an illegal alien. Yeah, maybe. Gray Man gives, ma gives you... Map to Madman. Hmm. You say, wait a second. Gray Man. <laughs> what kind of rock passport. is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's cave. You try follow map, but cave is big and cave has many caves, so you can't always tell which way is which on the map. You arrive at cave that large dot, which is your target. Oh, I love this. It has <laughs> gone full oh, cave man. Oprah has gone full cave man for this episode, mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. I'm going to say you bang stick on rock and make fire. Yeah. Or cave. You burn Lighting. cave to the ground. <laughs> This is a flammable cave. Get out of here. 
Investigate Larch Rock. This AI? Use Corey's line again? I have a line. Oh yeah, wait, what's up? Did I not notice? Yeah, what's your line, Corey? <laughs> what is my line? My lines. My lines. Line. You fire stick at wall and stick fire making cave much more brighter. Oh, that's how we turn you the lights on. see how that works. You arrive at cave with another dot on the map. <laughs> oh god, that wasn't the, We're gonna have to go to every cave on this fucking map. Because we no, can't no, no, read. Say, you see man. Oh, okay. Here he, we go. Mad. He, he look mad. See man. Okay. Are you mad man? Uh, he kind is of. Mad man. Kill. <laughs> die, die, die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I arrive at the cave I... of the madman. He is hunched over a sharpening stone and doesn't notice your presence until you bang the rock on the hard stone. <gasps> I know what to do here, guys. I'm going to say you touch his chest and read his ah, mind. Ah, there we no. go. Yeah, we're, not, we're really underutilizing this power. You see, we changed to uh, Irish. Jason? Yes, yeah. Good old. My favorite. Good old Emily. Hooler hoops. Hooler hoops. I'm in love with her. hoops. You touch the man and feel nothing. Oh. You are confused and ask if he has no mind. <laughs> so the man sad. looks up at you with bloodshot eyes and starts howling. What? What? The bell. What? What? The bell? Hmm. It's gonna, sad. I, I got a nexus. I, yeah, it's sad, but also... Does he have powers too or something? Maybe. Maybe he's been driven mad by his powers. You touch his chest again, hoping you can make him snap out of it. Hmm. I am Grog, the man who runs the train. What? You think to yourself, this is <laughs> oh, There's trains? Caveman trains? Um, I think it's a different <laughs> kind of train, Tony. Like, Whoa, you, know, <laughs> you know, with oh, no responsibility damn. or society, caveman mm. trains, very common. You, you grub, grub, man, run man, train on cave women all the time. Run train <laughs> wow. Yeah, 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 I yeah, like that. yeah I'll do that. <laughs> Grog tired and horny. Time to run train. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. After howling some more, the man becomes limp. And you drop him on the floor. <laughs> you notice the door to the cave is gone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, no, the, the, the door to the cave is gone. You I'm going to say you see many gray men oh, okay. come out uh, of the walls. Oh, it, oh, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. You have failed the test. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Grog, you are a fucking monster. Gave you the the ability to feel perfect empathy with other people, and you fucked one of them to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my! Grog have to get up early to catch train. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Grog have meeting. Yeah. You touch the gray men and feel a deep uh, sadness. They are all dead. Oh, interesting. You become fearful and run out from the cave as fast as you can. Uh, you you run. You still can't see the entrance and run headfirst into a wall. <laughs> you wake up in a strange, uh, on a strange metallic table. Oh. Oh. Uh, surrounded by gray men. Oh. Now they're going to run a train on us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, a single one comes out from the wall and touches your chest. You have no heartbeat. You are dead. The machine says, You are dead. Bad machine. Oh, everyone's like scared. I'm going to say the machine probes you. Yeah. You certainly don't <laughs> feel dead. Yep. Metal in the Stone Age, how does that work? Well, we're, we're abducted. We're on an alien ship yeah. now. Or mm -hmm. who knows? You are awake and can feel everything. 
The entire world is covered in a deep, inky blackness. Mm -hmm. You are floating in the <sighs> void with only your mind as an anchor to the world. Oh, this is strange. Mm. This is like a... What was it? You ever see that one movie with Scarlett Johansson where there's like... Uh, yes. Uh, what is that called? <laughs> under, the, under the skin? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I've never oh, seen yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fucking... It's good, but yeah. It, it has a scene where... Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but there's yeah, th this it. kind of, like, a, mm. a black void that's very creepy. I'm going to say you see a beautiful woman come out of the black void. Black void in that little boy smile. I should rewatch that. Damn. I think that's an A24 film. A24 has their shit together, man. I, I, I looked, I looked that everything. up. They have some flops, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes got... they don't have their shit together. Oh, yeah. Man. But mostly. Yeah, man. You see a beautiful Last... woman float out of the black void. She wears a robe with a strange skull on it. You notice her long hair is also a beautiful blue. Mm. Wow. Hmm. I'm scared a little bit. Strange skull. Beautiful blue hair. You save old as me. <laughs> that, thank you, sure. That is exactly how yeah. Krog would say this. <laughs> we about same age. Would you uh, estimate? <laughs> what you think? I think they're saying void, JR. Wait, what? Black void. JR's yeah, exactly. Black void. Yeah, I think so. Inky yeah, yeah. Blackness, you were floating yeah. in the void. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. You touch a beautiful woman's chest. <sighs> You are filled with deep sadness and loneliness. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. just for everybody. You oh. don't read her mind. You can feel her oh. immense power. She is a powerful mage of the sixth circle. Wow. Magnificently dressed woman asks, Who are you? You reply, I am Grog, a simple miner. Oh I boy, we're a miner. Yeah. We're young. I go into dirt, I find rocks, I pull out rocks, I make pile. That's pretty much it. I do that for my, my whole life. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> I die soon. I woman die very is, soon. Woman is in two I run trade on everybody. Man, woman, animal, rock. <laughs> she holds his hands and tells jokes about her uncle. After a few minutes, she lets go of him. Do you have a girlfriend? She asks. No. Why not? You ask, tell me a joke about your uncle. Yes. She got ate by a tiger. Grug, not like, be held down. Be free. Free like flying rock. Yeah. Why did, why did uncle cross the road? <laughs> sure, why not? Grug, gay. I don't have a girlfriend because I can't get anyone. Huh? Uncle fucked a horse once. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I can't. I have no girlfriend. That's, that's like a joke. That's a setup with no punch. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle but fucked a horse once. Yeah. I was just like, what? Uh. So what else? What else? My uncle fucked a horse once. <laughs> Grog also fuck horse once. Yes. Yeah. That, I, I'm not horse impressed. Horse train. Horse train. Horse train. <laughs> Get Grug. aboard the horse train. Wee. Okay. Or might have thing for a rock woman. Mm. Tell rock woman always listen to Grug's stories. I mm. think if anybody, Grug would love the traffic cone, the tra traffic cone, uh, monkey joke. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grug teach you teach you better than other guy. Why you like other guy? You want Grug want to impress? <laughs> yeah, pretty lady. There mm -hmm. you go. Grug want Whoopi. Yeah, more than anything. So so tell joke about rock. Oh, mm. I feel like this is gonna go over the line for us though. They go that ain't funny. That that not what rock do. Yeah. <laughs> pretty lady, happy and float over to rock. <laughs> Begin touch it. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> Grug asked. 
I am checking if it is real. Oh, it is real. <laughs> oh, it's so real. is this yeah. rock. Pretty lady. Tell funny joke about rock. It go like. <laughs> Check if they were. Oh, a poem. There was this rock. And it sat on the shore. Mm -hmm. A little tiny boat came by. But the rock <laughs> wouldn't move. So the captain got very angry. He raised his sword. <laughs> I think I have an I'm end for this. Rock and ass. Hold on, I think I have a I think I have an end for this. Okay. You you stop and Oh no. Maybe a, I was gonna be pretty lady <laughs> to death with a rock. <laughs> but, oh wow. <laughs> let's see, let's just keep it going. <laughs> Damn! I don't know. Very little. Oh my God. I realized That's how dark that a punch line. I realized how dark that was. <laughs> I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll find it back then. A very literal punchline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. But the a rock rolled line. down the hill. Then the little boat went sailing away. Pretty lady laughs at end. That jokes suck. <laughs> Where the boobs? Where the bad getting hit and groin? We can control her mind. Yeah, you're not funny, pretty lazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. You, got... you get by on looks. <laughs> you get by on looks. <laughs> you know funny. People tell you, you funny, say... they lie. I like how your caveman accent is becoming like an Asian accent. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> here, here, you say, okay. <laughs> okay, we warm now. Let's run train. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Weren't there cavemen in Asia? Or not? Yeah, ex exactly. Cajun. <laughs> Pretty lady holds your hand and you see a tunnel. Oh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Train about to pull into station. Yep. <laughs> hulk, hulk. Uh, also, yeah, sure, was... this is the perfect time for the Omega plan, but I feel like... We have no... Well, I guess Pretty Lady could, uh... Oh, wait, yeah, let's just set... You tell, uh... Pretty... Pretty Lady tells you about the Omega plan. I wonder if it's gonna... Mm -hmm. Well, we know what it means. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't remember. The Omega plan was, like, a 10-step program where you bring a rock to life. Marry it, have a good time with it, then to go to his funeral and ask yourself, well, I'm at a, a funeral for a fucking rock? <laughs> I remember that. Okay. <laughs> I think we have a clip somewhere. Yeah. A pretty lady tells you about the Omega plan. This might be a new Omega plan. I didn't think it was an Asian accent. <laughs> <laughs> I just started going there. Like, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's just funny. <laughs> it is the plan that will so make fun. us rich. We buy nearly worthless substance and turn it into actual money. Then we sell the product, make profit, pay people, then keep money for business improvement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How does Rock get involved in plan? It doesn't. <laughs> No, We're Grog say no. <laughs> we want you to be a pivotal rock on the ground level. <laughs> Grog no like lady life choices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grog want to be wild stallion, <sighs> run free in the fields. Now, uh, now I'm now I'm like. I'm so conscious of it now that I feel like I I'm... I know, you're not gonna... doing it, but you're not doing it anymore. Oh, okay, but... okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Grog interested. Maybe do it. How do I get it on ground floor? You ask, does it have 401k? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're in I know four, we should go. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> 401k. No, but we do have good health insurance. Okay, well then. What is the business improvement? Oh, I'll next this and then we'll get the moral. No. What is the business improvement? I haven't heard about it. 
It is a thing that makes us rich. If we had it, we wouldn't need Omegas. Omegas. Oh, oh, right. Omegas. Hula hoops. Yeah, or hula hoops and Omegas. That was an interesting Ooh. story. Hey, can you tell us what we learned from the story? More. <laughs> Having a good health insurance is good. It makes you rich. Let wow. us begin the operation. Whoa! Oh. Pretty lady touches you, and two large circles appear on the ground. Uh, so I this is all about getting health coverage. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh come on! What is it? Several oh, no. small gray figures begin appearing. You recognize them as masks. Masks? They are little creatures that can fetch things for you. These are masks. They will help us. Cool. Oh. Mm, okay. Right. Yeah. Will they be assisting in the surgery tonight? Yeah, who knows? Invested masks. Uh, well, I getting... wonder what sort of horrible monster Grug will be turned into in the next story. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new, <laughs> we do this every night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We do a trilogy of AI dungeon stories with prompts from users like you. The link just went by, but I'll post it again right now. You can fill out this form, and uh, we'll do your prompts at a future episode. So, yep. uh, yeah. Uh, give us a follow, submit a prompt, and... Uh, Tell your step grogs, your step masks, your step grogs, your step noids, step, noids. step celebrity, celebrity friends, mm -hmm. your step dick the birthday boys, <laughs> step, step, uh, uh, step runners. Yeah. yeah. No, don't tell your step don't runners. Don't tell him. Your step pizza <laughs> mancers. Hey. Oh, thanks, Jar. Thanks, Jar. Thanks for the bits. Oh Love yes, those bits. Uh, tell all those people. And tomorrow is a the first episode of Haiku Wednesdays, where we do prompts <laughs> that are also haikus. The stories <laughs> themselves might not be haikus, but the prompts will be. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to see your haiku prompts and play through them. And who knows? There might be a new jingle. I mean, there is a new jingle, and I'm excited yeah, for you okay. to hear it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'm just kidding. There's gonna be one. Alright. Bye ho we way, everyone. See you tomorrow for <laughs> Haiku Wednesday. Bye ho we way. Yeah, see you we way. <laughs>